hello everyone welcome to our channel fusion station i hope you all are doing great all right let's start this video in this tutorial we will learn how to register a sophos firewall in sophos central i will demonstrate you how to register it in the sophos central using our lab environment where this firewall is deployed in the vmware environment and this is our sophos central where it, the firewall would be displayed after the registration First, log into this Sophos firewall. After the login, just navigate to system, then Sophos Central. Here we can see that the device status is showing as not registered. So basically, there are two methods to register a firewall on Central. The first method is using the OTP, and the second method is using email address. So I will demonstrate you with both methods. Once you click on register, here you will get this option use OTP or using email address. So in the case of use email address, you, you just need to provide the sofa central credentials like the email address and the password then click on register. So I'm just going to use my registered email address of sofa central account. After defining the email and password, just click register. Now it will take some time to process the request. And once it is done, then you will get the notification here. All right, so here we can see that uh, our firewall has been successfully registered on Sofa Central and we got this notification. Once it is registered successfully, this security heartbeat and synchronized application control options would be enabled automatically. But if you want to manage this firewall from the Sofa Central, so you will have to enable this option so for central services which is uh, disabled by default so you will have to turn it on once you will turn it on it will give you another prompt where you just need to check this option manage from sofa central and there are two other options like send reports and logs to sofa central and send configuration backup to sofa central so it's all up to your requirement so currently we just want to manage it from the sofa central that's why i'm just checking this option and then click apply all right, so here we can see that our Sofa Central Services option has been uh, enabled and you can confirm its status by clicking the configure option where you can see that the manage from Sofa Central option is enabled here. After registration, just navigate to Sofa Central. Here we can see that uh, the firewall that we registered on Sofa Central started appearing over here. On the left hand side, you will get the serial number of the firewall and under the sync and management columns you can see that uh, you have an option of approval pending so just click on it here you will get the option accept services click on it after accepting the service just wait for a few minutes currently the status is showing as disconnected and after a few minutes the status would be changed to connected all right so here you can see that uh, our firewall has been successfully registered on central and now its status is showing as connected once its status is showing as connected then you can manage this firewall from the sofa central now you can access this firewall from any remote site if you are not available on the site where this firewall is deployed just simply log into the sofa central click on my products then select firewall management then after select firewalls under the firewall management section you will get all the firewalls that you have registered on sofa central and here we have registered only one firewall so just click on it here it will try to connect to your firewall so that you can access this firewall from the central management all right here we can see that we have logged into the firewall through sofa central and uh, this way you can manage multiple firewalls from the sofa central the next method is to register the firewall on sofa central using the otp let's see how to register it just click on this register button here you will get the option use otp and here we need to define the otp that we will get from the sofa central so just navigate to sofa central here you will get the options to add your firewall simply click on add your firewall and here you will get two options add new firewall or add configured firewall so in this scenario we are already using a configured firewall so just click on show me how here you need to define the serial number of the appliance that you want to register it on sofa central okay so here i have defined the serial number of our firewall after defining it just click next and after again you will get two options first is register using otp and the second one is 
register using email account so right now we are opting the method of otp so we need to select a register using otp option and here we need to copy this otp after copying the otp just paste it in the notepad so that it would be easy for you to define it in a sophos firewall in sophos firewall paste the same otp over here and click register all right here we have received the prompt where our firewall has been successfully registered on Sofa Central. Our next step is just to navigate to Sofa Central again. Click on Firewalls. Now it is showing the same firewall that we have registered using the OTP method. But here you can see that under the sync and management columns, the management disabled status message we are getting. The reason is that uh, on Sofa's firewall, we have not enabled this option yet. That is Sofa Central Services. So just enable this option. Click Manage from Sofa Central and apply. Then after it will take some time. Once it is enabled, then we will have to navigate to Sofa Central again to confirm its status. All right. So here we can see that uh, Sofa Central Services status has been enabled. So let's navigate to Sofa Central. And now here we are getting the status as approval pending. Just click on it and accept the services. Once services are accepted, wait for a few minutes as it takes time to change the status from disconnected to connected state. All right. So here we can see that our firewall status has been changed from disconnected to connected state. So in this way, we can register our rest of the firewalls and the purpose of managing this firewall from the Sofa Central is sometimes admin is not available on premise and there is some activity or task that he need to perform on the firewall. So with the help of this Sofa Central management, he can manage all the firewalls in a single console. So this way he can done all the tasks that is required based on the requirement. I hope uh, you found this video helpful and if you have any query just drop a comment I will definitely answer all of your queries and if you really like this video just hit the like and subscribe button and stay tuned for all the upcoming videos where you will get some more informative content regarding Sophos firewall till then take care of self have a great day goodbye